Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So at last I finally got my hands on one of these, the Raspberry Pi Compute Module complete with developers board. Uh, I bought it yesterday, the day they were launched uh, from Farnell for £152 delivered and it came today by UPS. Good service. So let's have a little walk around the board itself. Here you've got a USB in for the slave input. This is for programming the uh, operating system onto the memory of the module itself. Uh, here you've got a USB port. Here you've got your power port. Here you've got two camera interfaces and two display interfaces and an HDMI out port. Here you've got the actual module itself, which is the compute module. It's in the form of a sodium module, which is the same size and shape as the memory from many laptop computers. Over here we've got a jumper to set the uh, weather to enable the USB programming and here you've got uh, two jumpers to set the voltage for the GPIO ports. Uh, you've got a possibility to set the voltage to 3V3 or 1V8 and um, here you've got two banks of double rows of pins which are basically all the ports for the uh, BCM2835 broken out. So the idea is it's a development board, that's why it's expensive. Um, it's for developers, it's really not for hobbyists and not for people who just want to use the Raspberry Pi. They'd be better off buying a Model A or a Model B. But this part here is the actual module itself and that part is going to be approximately £30 I believe when it's available and the idea is it's for embedded systems. It's for people to go away and design their own board using the sodium connector um, and to put on their own board exactly what they want if they want an Ethernet interface because there isn't one on here if they want whatever interface they want whether they just want a few GPIO ports whether they need Wi-Fi you can basically build a board with everything you want and this part the compute module is what will give you the uh, the brains for your system so if you wanted one with uh, a board with lots of GPIO ports you could have one that looked a lot like that and with lots of pins or whatever kind of connectors you wanted to put on there so that's the idea it's a developers board and I can envisage these going into all sorts of Internet of Things devices vending machines um, and all manner of things that haven't even been thought of yet. There's already a couple of Kickstarter projects. One's a camera and one's a dock for um, iPads and tablets which are supposedly going to use this module. So although there's a lot of people who've said they're not sure what on earth the Raspberry Pi Foundation's playing at, um, in actual fact I wouldn't be at all surprised to find out that there's a very large market for these indeed and it's going to make some money for the foundation which will enable them to feed into their educational goals. So that means it's a good thing, right? So a small matter of practicality, um, I booted mine up. It took about 20 minutes to flash the, um, the OS onto the, onto, the, onto the memory. The other thing is there's only one USB port, so if you want to be able to use a keyboard and Wi-Fi, you need a hub. So I've plugged it all into my Pi Hub. There's a little Wi-Fi dongle from the Pi Hut. That's a little USB memory stick. There we've got the keyboard dongle, and here we've got. Uh, oh, that's I'm powering the module from the Pi Hub. And here we've got the downstream port and the power in. So I haven't had a chance to do a great deal with it yet because it's only just come. I've only had a couple of hours, but everyone wants to see a day one video. So here you go. I've hooked it up to the. Uh, original prototype of the HDMI Pi screen and this is it running in the background on an ordinary version of Raspbian. It's the latest Raspbian which was released also yesterday. So other than the form factor and the extraordinarily large number of GPIO ports I'm expecting it to behave very much like a Raspberry Pi. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.